Brooklyn Independent Television. Hello, I'm Randy Piers. Welcome to Sector B, the business of Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. Imagine there are some aspiring business owners who need to find a space where they could set up shop. But looking can be so time consuming. A neighborhood, say bed -Stuy, is hurt by the recession and has a whole bunch of vacant storefronts ready to be put to use. It's simple supply and demand. But how to best bring them together? Sector B's Jenny Passe Rodriguez hopped to trolley to show us one solution. Some people think the last thing bed -Stuy needs is another nail salon. They hope to add a little more variety to the neighborhood. I think of a bringing a food service business, perhaps a gourmet prepared food services business for busy people who are coming and going and who don't have time to sit down and, and get a healthy meal. They can buy, purchase a healthy meal and go home and don't have to stop off in fast food places or things of that sort. Gloria Sanderford already owns a business in Queens, but she wants to open up an eatery right in her own bed -Stuy neighborhood. Recently, she and more than 60 other entrepreneurs took the next step in opening up their businesses. They attended Rolling Up the Gates. It's an annual event that offers people the opportunity to make their dreams a reality by allowing them to view more than 20 available storefronts. We are going to Detroit and we're going to come around and we're going to make sure you hit every spot that you need to hit. But we're not waiting at those spots. When we come back around, we'll find you and we'll meet you. Just make sure you have your yellow, your yellow package. Before the tour, representatives from Pratt Area Community Council and bed -Stuy Restoration Corporation spoke with participants about the improvements to the commercial district. These two community development organizations have been working with existing business owners and other community groups to fill vacant stores. Between Bedford and Troy, uh, there are going to be new uh, sidewalks, pitches, trees. Improvements that aspiring business owners say will attract more shoppers. Everything is basically based on appearance. If you go in an area where the storefronts look really crummy and the streets look really dirty, you don't feel comfortable walking in that area and feel like you're shocked. You don't, there's nothing exciting about going to that area. This and more shopping options are what they hope will help keep dollars in bed -Stuy. There's a lack of services here for people who want to stay in the neighborhood and enjoy you know, their surroundings and they have to go to Park Slope or Fort Greene. So it would be nice to have something locally for people to enjoy. And We've been planning this for about two years now and uh, we held off. We were going to open last year but we held off because of the economy. But now we're raring to go, and so being on the trolley now and looking at all these spaces is really just ideal timing for us because we're ready to open a store. Most businesses uh, started tiny. I mean, PC Richard and Sons, as an example, which one of the largest national retailer uh, appliance retailers, they started in Brooklyn with one little store and there are many examples of that uh, and then there are stores that don't have to grow that just one location is enough who knows out of the folks that are here today who knows maybe the future national chains we don't know that as long as it comes from Brooklyn that's what I want made in Brooklyn <laughs> rolling up the gates is held every spring so whether it's a mom-and-pop store or the next national chain there's no reason why it couldn't get started right here in Bed-Stuy. We have contact numbers, we have square footage. You have For Sector B, I'm Jenny Passe Rodriguez. Call me next week and I'll make sure the next round is even better than this one. Okay. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.